I'd like to start with a somewhat philosophical discussion about nature, the process of scientific discovery, and the role of data and models in theory. And I'd like to start this story by telling you about a famous allegory called Plato's Cave. In his famous cave allegory, Plato describes prisoners who spend their lives chained to the side of a bridge in the middle of a cave. The bridge is a passageway, and people and animals and vehicles traverse the bridge to get through the cave. The cave is lit from behind by a fire, but the prisoners are chained such that they cannot see what's behind them. All they can see are the flickering shadows that are cast in front of them on the cave wall. The prisoners do not know what shapes actually produced those shadows, and because they spend their entire lives looking at the shadows, it's these shadows and not the shapes that produce them that are their view of reality. The point of this allegory is that we cannot know directly how the universe works. The only way that we can understand nature is by observing the shadows cast in front of us, which correspond to the data that we can measure. So we can only understand how the universe works by measuring it with devices and then interpreting the data. But data are often complicated and noisy, and experiments are imperfect. And typically, you cannot interpret the data directly. Therefore, you need to process and analyze the data somehow. And all data analyses basically just boil down to fitting models to data. So the analysis is the model. It has some free parameters that you fit to the data. And essentially, data analysis and data science simply means imposing a model onto a data set. The problem is that there are no one-size-fits-all models because data are very heterogeneous. Using the wrong model for a data set is like trying to force a square peg through a round hole. So how do you know which model is the right one for your data? That's the tricky part. You really can't know. All models are wrong and all models are oversimplified. And a model that works well for some data sets might be a poor choice for other data sets. To know whether you're using the right model for your particular data set, you need to know all of these data analysis methods. There are many resources in books and online courses and videos that teach you and show you how to use different models, different data analysis algorithms, whether it's regression or ANOVA or correlation, eigen decomposition, SVM, factor analysis, clustering, any of dozens of different data analysis methods. Those methods are important to know, but they're only half the story. The other half is the data. And this brings me to the first major goal of this course. The first major goal of this course is to give you the tools and exposure that you need so you can get acquainted with different kinds of data ranging from distributions to time series to images to spatial clusters to forward model simulations and so forth. The second goal for this course is to provide you with more opportunities for improving your programming skills. That's why I provide all the code for this course in MATLAB and in Python. I want you to learn to be comfortable working with and simulating data of different kinds, different categories, and different origins. It doesn't matter which language you prefer to learn in. So these are the two major goals for this course. I hope you will enjoy this course and learn a lot from it, and I'll see you soon.